So one of the most common questions I get asked is how do I know if I really need a virtual assistant, a VA? Look, I've been utilizing virtual assistants for eight years now. And as I say, it's a very common question. So I thought I'd share some of the thoughts maybe that you're having in the back of your mind that might indicate that a virtual assistant is going to be a great benefit to you. And I've got a few listed here on my laptop. So looking back on my journey uh, of um, getting support from virtual assistants, certainly working hours. I reckon if you're a small business owner, entrepreneur, and you're working more than 55 hours a week, you probably ought to think of a virtual assistant particularly if you're working at weekends. That was me a long time ago. I'd be using the weekends to catch up on admin tasks and bookkeeping and things like that. If you're not getting enough family time because you're spending too much time at work, that's a pretty good indicator as well. What about, are you spending a lot of time on low value tasks? So as the business owner, you should be focused on things related to sales and, and service delivery and maybe marketing. Are you spending a lot of time on low value stuff? that can be done by a virtual assistant. Maybe you're spending too much time on tasks like booking travel, ordering supplies, bookkeeping, uh, postals, posting social media content. All of that stuff can be done by a less skilled, lower cost person. It doesn't have to be done by you. It shouldn't be done by the business owner. Uh, another key indicator, you really want to sort of grow the business, but you're being held back because you can't afford local support staff. You know, you need people to, to help you with key tasks, but it's just too expensive. And, and it's, it's kind of that glass ceiling. Your, your business needs to grow, your cash flow needs to improve before you can get the support staff. And it's a bit of a catch 22. What about you want to spend more time with customers, but you can't because you're tied up with these low value tasks. You know, a, one tip that I would give you if you're wondering whether a virtual assistant is going to be beneficial or not, is list down, list down all of the tasks that you do during a, a, a typical week. Try to put, you know, hours estimate against each of them. You know, I spend two hours on this, I spend three hours on that, 30 minutes on this. If you do that list honestly, and then you've got at least 10 hours of tasks a week that you could give to a virtual assistant, I'd say you're missing out because that's 10 hours that you could get back to spend with your family, to spend with clients and so on. And that's really conservative. When I first did that exercise, I came up with about 20 hours. And funnily enough, when you get a full-time virtual assistant helping you, you soon fill all their other hours because there's a whole raft of stuff that you would love to get to, but you never did because you never had the time. So, few indicators there. If you're thinking, yeah, that's me, that's me, yeah, I'd love to have more time for this, more time for that, and you're spending time on low-level admin tasks, it's probably time to think of a virtual assistant.